The Sapphire caricature portrays black women as rude, loud, malicious stuff. First, go back and watch his video. Watch his video from the beginning so you can get context. Reason why I take the stance that I take and why I will continue to take the stance that I take is to lift the veil from black women's eyes. Because we really need to see the truth and we really need to start moving differently. And I believe that once we see the truth, we can start shifting our mindset and shifting the way we react to things. So this man goes on to explain, he's discussing the Sapphire caricature, which is from the Jim Crow era, where they intentionally, this is the start of them, or probably not necessarily the start, but this is them putting in efforts to you know, deem black women as the angry black woman, right? Black women, you have to ask yourself why. Because right now online, a lot of black women are trying to do the soft life and all that kind of stuff, which I am pro soft life. I live a soft life. I, life, I just live a soft life that I created for myself, not that I depended on, depended on a man to create for me. There's this push for black women to kind of retreat black back into the care of the male and we know that that's not a solution those of us that are that are that are tapped in knows that's not a solution so it's on us to start dismantling our own programming right because these people they have no reason to dismantle their programming if they dismantle their you know programming and their belief system and their stereotypes they won't benefit from it in the way that they did before but they need you to believe it they need you so black, i need black women to ask ourselves why why are they painting you specifically as the angry trope who needs to be silenced and quiet you're hoping that you play into that and that you diffuse yourself see they know who you are black woman why aren't they why didn't they you know frame now they frame, frame black men as violent right because they know that black men are male they're men so they're physically stronger and they have the physical attributes to you know protect their women so to speak they didn't name them they didn't name black women you know so when you start asking yourself why, ask, you know, why didn't they give us a stereotype of being docile? Why didn't they give us a stereotype like they did Asian women of being docile and quiet and, and feminine and easy to control? Because they know we aren't. See, white supremacy know the lies that they tell, right? They know the programming that they've conditioned us all to believe in. And they, everybody has different programming right? We program black men to believe the same thing. So my point is when you hear someone refer to you as angry, the minute you start to stand up for yourself, you can be in a soft tone and black women in the office or wherever and black women, or even in your own household, because there's a lot of black men who continue this rhetoric and who at the minute a black woman say something to them, oh, she got an attitude. That's their favorite reason for not liking black women. She got an attitude, right? That's their programming. They've been programmed into believing that black women actually have attitudes. But what's the real reason, right? Black men don't know the real reason. They're, I don't even know the word right now, but they're like DNA their genetic makeup, their higher selves, no. As above, so below, they know. But they don't know, they don't know. They know who you are, black woman. So their hope is that you will put out your own fire first. And if you don't, if you end up being a black woman who will stand up for herself, they want to already, it's the same energy of I'm going to laugh at myself and drag myself before somebody else can do it, is that. I'm going to tell the whole world that you're angry so they stop listening to you before you start talking, right? Because people listen to black women. Everyone listens to black women. Pay attention to what people actually do as a collective. The collective of humanity is online. Who do, who do they mimic? Who do they model themselves after while simultaneously saying that you're at the bottom of this fake ass totem pole? They know who you are. We just don't know. So they're hoping that you will diffuse yourself. And so you think about this. 
You think about this every time you're about to bite your tongue because you don't want to come off as the angry black woman. You think about this. It's made up. They're not going to dismantle their system because they intentionally created it for a purpose. Yeah. They want you to be able to do the work so that they have a lot less work to do. And as our consciousness raises, as we get to a place, we get back to our original spirituality and toss away their Abrahamic patriarchal religions. Black women are start starting to come back to who we are. And that is what they're afraid of. So now they're having to actually speak these things out loud. See, in the Jim Crow era, they were implanting this because they say, you loud bitches are changing the fucking world. And y'all are really influencing people. I need y'all to be quiet. I need you to be able to check yourself. Trad wife shit. I'm, I'm just going to go for it. Trad wife shit. Soft life shit. Uh, femininity shit. And the performative femininity that they teach us, that is the same thing as them calling you the angry black woman. They are trying to help you start to diffuse yourself. But y'all, listen. <laughs> One thing about it, the body, the brain, the higher self, it will start to self-correct. Period. Just like Gaia. Mother Earth will spit us all out this motherfucker and so that she can recreate herself. Period. That's why they trying to go to the moon. Y'all thought y'all could destroy the world? She will destroy herself and you with it to get rid of you so she can replenish herself. That is feminine energy. Remember that the next time you want to bite your tongue and be a white woman or what you perceive to be white women as. Because I don't know about y'all. <laughs> But I travel Southeast Asia, and I'm going to tell y'all like this. Asian women are not docile. No. They're petite. They're physically petite. So it was easier for them to give them a stereotype of being docile. While they was giving our big booty asses and our tall statuesque asses the angry black woman trope. Just like they gave black men the violent, oh, he going to do, yeah. Still asking these people to dismantle their systems is stupid. Stop it. Dismantle their systems that's implanted within you. Start there. 